I'm Kath Davies and I'm Director of Collections and Research at Amgirdva Cymru. I'm Stephanie Roberts and I'm the Curator of Historic Art at National Museum Cardiff. Cael Varakid is quite a unique partnership between Amgirdva Cymru, the Arts Council of Wales and it's funded by Welsh Government. At its core is really about connecting people and communities with the art collections in Amgirdva Cymru. In its current form it really started as a reaction to the Covid crisis there was this sort of feeling that everyone went through a bit of soul searching and trying to sort of find out what role can we play as a national institution to really help Wales and help the communities of Wales in this time of crisis. We're buildings based, we're objects based and we had to move all our activity online. It encouraged us to think more deeply about the purpose of museums and what can we do in this time of crisis? How do we use our resources? How do we use our collections to support communities and to support individuals through this really quite traumatic time. So the three streams, if you like, of Kelver Keed at Kelv Cant at 100. Kelver Keed has got its own Instagram account. This is really a chance for the public to curate their own exhibition. So we're inviting people to select their favourite artwork from the collection. We've narrowed it down to a short list of 100 works and we're inviting the public then to vote for their favourite works from that selection of 100. And the favourite works will then be displayed at the National Museum in Cardiff and in other galleries around Wales. The thinking behind this is quite a simple but very, very important principle that the National Museum's art collection belongs to the people of Wales. That's an Instagram campaign which is live and we're releasing those two by two on Instagram and asking people to like, to comment. Actually there's thousands of works in the National Collection so narrowing it down to a short list of 100 was actually quite a challenge. Obviously there were some works in the collection that we felt had to be there because they're established highlights and we felt that people would question why is my favourite work not there. So there were certain works that we felt had to be included. For example we had to have a model me representing you know our, our amazing impressionist collection and the legacy of the Davis sisters but then we didn't want it to be all the usual suspect so we wanted a really broad selection of maybe artists that were previously people may not have heard about. The second part of the project is art in hospitals or the NHS decides. There were a number of field hospitals being set up across Wales by the various health boards just to be ready for the potential additional demand as a result of Covid. And a couple of health boards had got in touch with us and they were the medical staff who got in touch and were saying these Places are pretty grim. Is there anything you can do, Amgirdva Cymru, just to improve the environment, just to make it a little bit more pleasant for our staff and for our patients? So what we were really trying to do was to be reactive to individual needs in different health boards and different hospitals because every single hospital in Wales has its own unique character and its its own unique experience of working with art in health and the local needs are very different. So the first project was related to the Hawava Health Board where we just selected a number of works that related to the area. They were mostly landscapes, really accessible, colourful but quite gentle paintings. People have been responding well to having images of places that are familiar to them. So, for example, in Spatia Seren, Regent, Cumtav Health Board, Turner's Iweni Priory is one image that's gone up, and people have responded well to that because it's a really well known landmark in the Iweni Regent area. As we moved forward, the medics were thinking really creatively as to how we could use the artworks as a tool for recovery. Kevin Sinnott's running away with a hairdresser has also been really popular. It's a really big, bright, bold painting and it shows a man and a woman running away. But the question is, you know, where are they running to? What are they running from? Who are these people? What sort of life have they come from? Where are they going? So there's a lot of narrative that people can read into the painting and I think that's really important as well because it's narrative that's very deeply embedded in Valley's life. So you can look at that painting and really recognise Valley's life. What we're really keen to do as a museum now is to track patients' responses to see which work are working particularly well so that we can build on this work in future. And then the third stream to Calvarakid is an online magazine called Canvas, which is principally curated by a group of young people, our Amgiedva Cymru producers, and a range of other diverse voices. And perhaps again, the underlying principle is 
handing over that curatorial voice and giving other people an opportunity to talk about art in the way that they want to talk about art and also to open up some debates about how we collect, what we display and what perceptions there are amongst, say, diverse communities across Wales into how well we're doing as well. The themes and the content are really being produced by people who are external to the museum. It's a way of bringing their voices in and allowing them a platform to discuss and to talk about the collection in a way that maybe we as curators wouldn't naturally do. So again, exploring how we could really exploit the digital opportunity at Amgiedwa Cymru. And so to remind you all, go on to Kelvara Keed's Instagram account and vote for your favourite piece of art. And also keep an eye on our website for details about our magazine Canvas. This is a great opportunity for you to have some ownership of the museum's content, because after all, it is your museum.